were studying computational modeling of language acquisition. Then uh, Undo gave me some ideas that I could work on and uh, I started to apply one of the Undo's methods and uh, I got bored with the computational demands of that approach so uh, I made little adjustments to the computational module or the way how the computation is performed and uh, the results were surprisingly good and basically that was it. Uh, well, the invention is a method for weakly supervised machine learning instead of supervised methods where we always need to have quite accurate annotation or labeling of the training data, the weakly supervised method is able to learn from not so accurate annotation of the data, so there can be lots of variability and ambiguousness in the labels of what we are trying to learn from the data. The classical approach is that we analyze all the sounds, for instance speech sounds, birds, very carefully and, and bring a model inside the agent so that we make the decisions, not the, not the system. But here it, it is uh, so that this will make the decisions, what is important, what is not important. It tries to construct the model from, from the beginning. First thing that it tried to solve and succeeded quite okay was the problem of language acquisition where some kind of computational agent tries to listen to speech and then learn what parts of this speech signal correspond to some external objects or events. And the algorithm learns the locations and structures of these patterns by associating recurring structures in the data to recurring objects and events in some kind of contextual information. And uh, how this differs, for example, from HMM-based approaches that are quite prevailing in supervised learning field is that, first of all, the current method is computationally extremely quick uh, and still it achieves uh, comparable or even better performance in some tasks. Some system or some situation produces huge amounts of data, so that it's very, very painful to start to study by human forces, so to say. So th this is very, very good for that. It can run day and night and look and uh, search after the patterns and learn, even without knowledge, what the patterns are. I believe that uh, all companies or research units that are working with data exploration or machine learning would benefit from these kind of methods. <laughs> well, that's my point. <laughs>